All right, so the MLB The Show 22 tech test is currently out, and I have six different things that I want to talk about that I have noticed while playing the tech test. Now, of course, not everything is going to be exactly the same when the game comes out. I'm sure there's going to be a few differences here and there. And the consoles that I've played the tech test on are the PS4 Pro, Xbox One S, and Nintendo Switch. So keep that in mind as we go through this, but let's get into it. The first thing that we got to talk about is the presentation. From how everything shows up before you start the game, to the scorecard that you have in the bottom right that looks a lot better than it has in the past, to even the crowd cheering different things while you're batting or pitching. The right fielder, J.D. Martinez. There are a lot of really good presentation upgrades, and one of my favorite things, honestly, is the win expectancy. Seeing that fluctuate every half inning depending on if you get home runs or you strike out the side or whatever it may be, it's just really fun to look at, unless you're playing on the Nintendo Switch. But we're gonna get to that in just a second, because now we're gonna be talking about the differences between the consoles. I have played all of the MLB The Shows on PlayStation, and even here, I think it looks the smoothest on my PS4. On the PS4, everything ran smoothly. I had just a few couple frames that kind of messed up here and there, but it was almost perfectly smooth. On the Xbox, I had a few more issues here and there. It did look like it ran just a little slower here and there, a little more choppy, a little more blurry. And I think this was a problem in 21. I never experienced it because I never played 21 on the Xbox. But in the tech test for the Xbox version, Whenever I was using the pinpoint meter, it definitely did not read exactly what I was doing. There were definite times where it was off to the left or right a little bit than what I was actually doing. And then of course we have the Switch. Funny enough, the one thing I'll give the Switch, it registered my pitching 10 times better than it did on the Xbox. I'll give it that. But aside from that, it just looked bad. From not only looking like it was running at like 15 frames at like 360p, it just felt impossible to hit the ball. And then fielding is another story. Like you would try to throw the ball and you couldn't even time throwing the ball if you're using the accuracy because it just didn't work. You would release the button and still move like three feet. Now I'm sure if you're playing this on like Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X, you may not have the issues that I had playing on my Xbox One S. But speaking in the terms of the current gen consoles, I definitely would say that if you're playing it on PlayStation, it's probably going to work out best. So the third thing we're gonna be talking about today is the PCI Anchor. Most of us playing the game aren't always in World Series every time. We're not dealing with Legend all the time. We're probably facing All-Star or Hall of Fame. And I gotta say, playing with the Anchor has been like a godsend. Not everybody is going to put the PCI Anchor in the same spot. Some people may like it outside, some people might like it up, some people might like it down. The way that I've been doing it most recently is wherever the pitcher's pitching. If it's if the pitcher is left-handed, I put it on the right side. If the pitcher is a right-handed pitcher, I'll put it on the left side. But I'm definitely going to talk about that more once 22 comes out. But yeah, I just think the PCI Anchor is absolutely one of the best things that we could have gotten for hitting, and I think it's going to help a lot of people. Next, we're going to be talking about the fielding. Just from playing a little bit, I could definitely tell that the fielding looks smoother. Aside from the Nintendo Switch, it feels more responsive, it feels better to throw to bases, and then on top of that, when you throw to second, third, and sometimes even first now, you'll have that perfect meter that you can throw and get a perfect throw. I think that is going to be a great thing for fielding, because I think we all thought it. Whenever you would throw to second or third or try to throw somebody out, you would have the ball there, but then the fielder would take his sweet ass time trying to tag him. But now that we have this perfect throw, I think it's going to help out a lot, especially at those two bases. But the fifth thing that we're going to be talking about today, we got to talk about the co-op. Whenever I've been able to get into a co-op game, it has been fun. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of friends to play co-op with, if any, but even just playing with random people, whether I'm the captain or not, it's just a really enjoyable time. Now, I will say it would be nice that if you're not captain, that you could be able to do substitutions or at the very least, like warm up pitchers. But they did say that this is an old version of the show 22. So there could be some things that we're just not able to see as of yet, but still, it just would be nice. And the last thing that we got to talk about which is probably one of the biggest things every year, 
are the servers. Even just going through the tech test, there have been many, and I mean many server issues. Even when you have people staying to do co-op with each other, you won't even get to the game half the time. The game will freeze, the game won't pair you up with other people, and then even on Diamond Dynasty, sometimes you're trying to go into an event, it won't pair up with people. You're trying to do casual, it will not pair up with people. The fact that MLB The Show 22 is going to be on three different consoles is a little bit concerning. With the amount of server issues that we had last year just from also going to Xbox, I don't have the highest hopes that servers will be good for the first few months. I want to believe, I really do, but it's just hard to believe that the servers are going to work even slightly. Let's pray that SDS will have at least something figured out by the time April comes around, because if not, I feel like people are going to drop very quickly. But yeah, those are the six things that I wanted to talk about today. Every Thursday, we're going to be having a brand new premiere stream. So of course, I will be talking about those either the Friday or Saturday afterwards. And I plan on making maybe a few videos for the tech test to put up here. Of course, as well as some stuff for the show 21 as we head to 22. One last thing before I go, I do plan on streaming the tech test one day. I think it's going to be Tuesday for a little bit over on my main Twitch channel. So, I mean, hey, if you want to come check me out, I'll probably post something as I'm about to go play MLB The Show on my stream. But with that all being said, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.